Well, a rainy and gloomy day across the region. Storm Track 3 meteorologist JC Brienne is here with us now. You know, JC, to me, it's just a perfect day to be able to stay inside, curl up on the couch, maybe watch some movies. Just to yes, me, though. That's exactly what mm -hmm. I wanted to do today. <laughs> just like, lay on the couch yes. with a blanket and not have to get up. Cuddle with some hot mm -hmm. chocolate or something. Absolutely. <laughs> it was, again, a really nice day to do that. Pretty a nice evening uh, to do that as well. Still seeing some light rain showers making their way through the region tonight. So if you have to get anywhere tonight, you want to make sure you have the umbrella. If not, just stay inside and uh, enjoy the dry conditions. Quick look at your radar right now. We are again tracking some light shower activity. Right now we've got some showers making their way through Jackson County, Union County and uh, Southern Illinois and a couple of showers maybe going to start making their way into uh, Perry County, Missouri as well. Some of those starting to move out. We are going to continue to be watching this activity as we shift overnight tonight, but we're not tracking severe weather tonight. While you may wake up and hear rumble of thunder or maybe a pocket of heavy rain as we shift overnight tonight. The main event is not going to be until tomorrow. So tonight you can go to bed and rest easy. By tomorrow, you want to make sure you're staying weather aware. This is a quick look at our camera in Poplar Bluff. Again, not a whole lot of activity going on. And uh, temperature wise, we're sitting in the 50s at this time. But as we start to shift later into the evening hours, we're actually going to be seeing something that we don't typically see. A warm front is going going to be pushing through so temperatures are going to be going up as we continue to push throughout the evening hour. So right now we're currently sitting in the mid to upper 50s. Cape Girardeau 58 along with Paducah. Marion coming in at uh, 54 and Mount Vernon at 55. So again tonight tracking some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. But tomorrow is the day that you want to be weather aware. Strong to severe thunderstorms going to be making their way into the region. The main event is going to be in the evening hours and unfortunately it's looking like an overnight event. So that's going to be lingering into early Monday morning for some of us which means you want to have multiple ways to get alerts. It's one of those nights that you just need something that's going to wake you up if uh, you need it. Again, warm front continues to push further and further north as we start to shift into tomorrow, Sunday as a whole. It actually doesn't look too bad if you need to get outside. It's going to be very, very windy, but there's going to be pockets of some sunshine, and it's also going to be very, very warm throughout the day. We're going to be in that warm sector of this next system, a relatively quiet day as far as the storms go in the early half of the day. But as we start to get into the evening, this cold front's expected to push through. As early as 8 p.m., we start to see that uh, line making its way into the region. That's going to continue to push to the east. So about 11. We're talking about uh, folks in southern Illinois. And then as we shift into the very early morning hours, folks in western Kentucky going to see those storms just a little bit later, but very, very early in the morning, late at night, Sunday night. So one of those nights again that you want to make sure you're staying up to date with the latest information. You've got multiple ways to get alerts. This is a look at our again severe storm outlook. So we've got uh, three on the board. So that's that bright orange color that's focused off into our westernmost counties. A yellow, a two on a scale of one to five covers much of the rest of the viewing area extending from southern Illinois off into western Kentucky. The main threats are going to be very strong winds as this line comes in, but we also can't rule out a tornado or two. So again, just make sure you're staying safe. The best chance to see uh, some of that higher activity is going to be off into southeastern Missouri. Storm Track 3 app, you'll want to make sure you have that on your smartphone. Again, tomorrow without the storms, we're talking about temperatures being in that warm sector, climbing up close to 80 degrees. Winds out of the south southwest around 15 miles per hour, talking about gusts and upwards of 30 miles per hour, and that's without storms. So if you have any Halloween decorations out, anything that you just don't want to get blown around, uh, you may want to make sure that's secure or bring it inside if you can. After we get through tomorrow evening and into Monday morning, we get a little bit of a break and talk about a cool down. We drop back down into the 60s, but then we've got a pretty active week. Even as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've got more rain chances on the board. You know, just a great opportunity if people haven't yet, those viewers at home, to download the weather app and just stay weather aware. Yes, and get your plan in place today. Okay, thank you so much, Tracy.